Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to talk about a problem that we got from American Invitational Mathematics Examination or AIM from 2022. In this problem, we have distinct integers A, B, C up to A and they are going to be between 1 and 9 inclusive. We want to find the minimum value that we can possibly have for the fraction a times b times c minus d times e times f over g times h times i. Before moving forward to talk about the solution, make sure that you pause the video to think about the problem. Remember, we want to find the minimum possible value that we have for a fraction. When you have a fraction and you want to minimize it, basically you need to minimize the value that you have for the denominator and maximize the value that you have for the denominator. So here, let's focus on the top of the fraction. We have a times b times c minus d times e times f. To minimize it, this value should be equal to 1. Now let's focus on the product of a to f. We know this product is greater than the product of 1 to 6. The reason is a, b up to f are distinct integers. We pick the minimum possible value between 1 to 9 for a the next possible value for b, and so on and so forth. So we have the product of a to f is going to be greater or equal to 720. And remember, the product of d to f is equal to the product of a to c minus 1. So we are going to use that. And now we have an inequality that we are going to simplify it. The inequality is really simple. Let's use x for a times b times c. Then the inequality is x squared minus x minus 720 greater than or equal to 0. To solve this, we can just use the quadratic equations and inequality. We can see that x should be greater than or equal to 28. What does it mean? It means the product of a, b, and c should be greater than or equal to 28. Obviously here, the product of d, e, and f is going to be greater or equal to 27. Now let's stop here and add some more reasoning. First of all, 28 can be written as 4 times 7, and 4 is 2 times 2. We want to find the minimum possible value that we can have for a, b, and c to have this inequality. Let's start with 2 for a. b cannot be 2 anymore because they are distinct, so we can use 3 for b. And then we need to use something like 4 for c. If we do this, then a times b times c is going to be 24, which is less than 28 and not acceptable. Then we move forward and pick 5 for c. Then a times b times c is going to be 30, which is greater than 28. However, d times e times f is going to be 30 minus 1, or 29. 29 is a prime number. You cannot find three factors inside it to have for d, e, and f. So that's not acceptable too. Now let's move on and use 6 for c. If we do this, then a times b times c is going to be 36. 36 minus 1 is 35. Let's see if we can find values for d, e, and f. You can write it as 1 times 5 times 7. So we can say 
d is equal to 1, e is equal to 5, and f is equal to 7. So finally we have 2, 3, 6, 4, 8, b and c, and 1, 5, 7, 4, d, e and f. Note that when we say a, b and c can be 2, 3 and 6, it doesn't mean that we cannot have any other combination for a, b and c. For example, a can be 6, b can be 3 and c can be 2. But we don't care about that. Right now, we are going to find the minimum possible value that we have finally for the fraction. Next step would be understanding the values that we can have for g, h and i. Remember, between a to i, we have nine numbers. And we know a to i are going to be between 1 and 9. So we have just one choice for g, h, and i. And they can be for 8 and 9. So overall, we are going to simplify the fraction and write it as 1 for the denominator and 4 times 8 times 9 for the denominator. If you simplify it, then we are going to have 1 over 288 as a minimum value that we can have for the fraction. And that's our answer. Thanks for watching the video. If you would like to see more puzzles and math involved activities, please subscribe to the channel.